The world today is moving very fast towards enabling digital transformation to enable seamless communication, connection and commerce. And this has changed the way businesses operate and the way people live, work and play. So let's encapsulate, engage and experience the biggest technology festival in Asia, the India Mobile Congress, which is happening from 1st to 4th of October at Pragati Medan in New Delhi. So a lot of new technologies are on display here. A lot of new services are being innovated. 5G has been introduced and the event was inaugurated by our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji. So let us go inside the hall, talk to the participants and we will show you the glimpses of this exciting event. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, do subscribe if you want to stay updated with the world of events and exhibitions. Come with me. India is in the midst of great digital transformation and this event, the India Mobile Congress is a perfect platform to showcase latest technologies, latest innovations, products and services in this space. This is truly a wonderful event and we can see a huge footfall at the event. So friends, I am now with a very busy man. I am with Mr. Ramakrishna, the CEO of India Mobile Congress. What a phenomenal event, sir. Congratulations. Um, may I ask you, what have been the major highlights of this event so far? I think uh, we are proud to have this after two years and it's been a big occasion for all of us. Big turnout is we are touching close to 50, 60,000 footfall right now. It's going to be extended for tomorrow also. Then we will hoping that it will be 80 90000 footfall which is a very unique and the big occasion for us is we are now rated as far as a global event as fwc uh, that's a good appreciation coming out from all sectors we are very happy with that news uh, that's the big achievement i feel as i told you this event is a perfect platform for new technologies new products innovations in the digital space we have got a wonderful response wide range of participants who's who of the telecommunications industry have participated in the india mobile contest Vinish Baba, i handle the enterprise business for nokia in india okay, so, so what's your feedback about this event so it's brilliant i think what we are seeing today is this whole event has been how 5g is really going to help everybody consumers industries and the real use cases are being shown. So whatever was earlier in theory is being practical now and that's being demonstrated over here. So it's great to see startups and large companies, large organizations demonstrating the real usage of 5G. Organizers have done a great job. I think this is one of the largest events in India in the space of telecom. And I think it's almost now at a global scale. So we should look at expanding it even further and making it almost like a Asia or a World Congress in India. So hi, I'm Vidhu and I've been the co-founder of this company and we started in 2017. The commercial launch happened in 2020. So, what's your feedback about this exhibition? Uh, the feedback is fine. Uh, it's an interesting, very energetic uh, exhibition and a lot of people have come and uh, seen us. And it's, it's always good to showcase in these kind of exhibitions because then we tend to know that who all is doing what. And of course, we get, get, get a chance to showcase our product. On the mega, the much-awaited 5G network across India. Here we are showcasing that uh, how the 5G technology can be used to help uh, people by saving their lives. So this is this will help uh, in connecting patients who are in remote locations in rural areas with uh, doctors who are located in cities far away. And uh, how Geo plays a role is in connecting these doctors and patients by providing a platform for uh, communication. So what happens is all the patient has to do is go to a clinic where the robot will be installed and lie down on a bed and he will be he or she will be on a continuous video call uh, with the with the doctor and will uh, explain her, his or her issues to the doctor now what the doctor will do will the doctor will have a laptop with uh, him or her so the doctor will log into a page where um, the camera feed of the patient is visible and uh, the doctor will ha also have along with the laptop a haptic device connected this happy device basically records the how the doctor's hand is moving and based on that the robot will also move so i can show you that it can walk left 
and uh, down, forward, backward, any motion that I make, it will imitate. Basically, we're from a company called Six Win. We're a software company providing virtual routing solutions. And we're a technology alliance partner with Intel, which is why we're here. Uh, for us, it's been great. Uh, we're, we've not really been known in India so far, so it's been an excellent exposure for us. And obviously, Intel uh, has helped in that. And uh, we've had a lot of contacts and a lot of interest. Uh, organization's been great. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people here. It's, uh, you know, it's obviously been promoted well. Uh, facilities are great, and uh, yeah, had a good time so far. Bandla. I run a company, RV Solutions, we are in telecom services. Um, it was really um, nice in the sense uh, it was happening after two years. So it seems like everybody was really uh, very eager to you know, display. And with the 5G coming in, the inauguration will be done by APM. So I see a lot of use cases. It is really giving us a lot of insight into what can be expected and uh, what uh, people like us also should uh, think about or pivot into or various things. Yeah, this is Dr. Ankur Singhana. So we came here to get connected with this workshop, conference, and we found that so many good startups are coming into picture. So I will talk only with respect to the research point of view. With respect to research, with respect to research point of view, I found that most of the research startups are very good. We also got a number of different ideas, so definitely we also will try to give some boost to our students also. As we are faculty, I am as a, working as a faculty in NIT Tiruchirappalli. I work for Nokia Networks. So Nokia obviously is one of the leaders in 5G technology. We are working with all the operators, uh, Airtel, Geo, Vodafone to bring the 5G to India. So anyway, it's uh, already been launched. Nokia has a partner for Airtel and Geo and everybody. So, and these are some of the best showcases or use cases of what 5G can do for the country. So it's a, uh, it is quite wonderful. I mean, it's a good, uh, a very good uh, convergence of lot of partners, stakeholders, and innovators in the telecommunication space for solutions, services, and everything. Uh, myself and my uh, both of my friends are currently pursuing engineering. And uh, as a student, and uh, as we are passionate about technology, so we have come to visit the Indian Mobile Congress, and we were pretty excited as the buzz in the media also, and like the Prime Minister inaugurated this. The exhibition is good and very attractive. Really new well technology that are not even market yet. And pretty well organized, yeah. We had a uh, huge, uh, the whole exhibition this time was not only the product line of a telco ecosystem, it was more on the user experience of the future generation of 5G. So when you talk about 5G, it's going to be experiential for the common consumers, the common citizens of India, which Honorable Prime Minister graced the occasion to inaugurate the 5G services. We see that has accelerated the momentum in this industry now, which is a new era opening up. And I hope this industry and this event as a uh, platform will grow very well in the future. Okay. And in terms of technology revolution that India is going through, what are your comments how, how the industry is paced in the coming years? You have seen the, uh, the momentum or the kind of enthusiasm in the industry out here. You have seen Geo, Airtel, or Ericsson, Nokia, all the way, Vodafone Idea Boats. There's so much of... Uh, new things which are going to come up it's useful for the sectors we had seen participation from about 4000 government officers who have exclusively come from all the departments mandated by government of india to see and adopt 5g it's a big spurt which is going to come up i'm sure we'll be able to help that spurt as a ecosystem with imc and wonderful and also can you highlight some of your upcoming plans uh, is there any big announcement coming up so we heard uh, we heard now we were instructed by minister of communication and also some of our important leaders in the industry that this should be a global platform now 
let's scale it up to Asia Mobile Congress. And uh, there has been some dates given us that we should prepare the plan in next one month. I hope we'll be able to do that. Then this is at a different level. Okay. And you have also created a lot of wonderful content in this event. Can you highlight some of the key themes which you are focusing on and what kind of seminars are going on simultaneously? There are about uh, uh, 75, 78 seminars, which are sessions which are happening. We are 200 plus speakers from across the globe, including CEOs, CTOs. Uh, the new the startups there was a special session with state IT minister where seven 17 state IT minister were part spent there is a regulatory session on the broadcasting sector which has happened in a very good form there was an international buyer seller made we had about 30 countries buyers coming in trying to talk to the Indian startups and ecosystem players a lot of focus on startups and Indian Atma Nirvata uh, there are a lot of focus from the industry and from the ministries and government to give a kind of a push to these products or manufacturing out of India for a global scale. My final question, what message you would like to give to the industry at this point in time, standing on uh, day, day three? Day, day three. three of the exhibition, what message would you like to give to the industry? They are, if you want to scale up to the international level, this platform, we are ready to serve that purpose. Uh, we have to build certain processes and system within our IMC to cater to that needs of the international global experience. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to scale it because you have seen how IMC transform. We, even though after COVID, this is a big, huge development. 80,000 for a footfall for a kind of an event in India is a very big footfall, I consider. Absolutely. And what are the number of participants here? There are about 239 exhibitors. Um, we... Uh, there are about uh, of that hundred are startups, okay, two thirty nine exhibitors, and imagine when you have a booth size of twelve hundred square meter, it's big. So we are very certain that number could have been more, but our booth sizes are pretty big here. There is an average booth span of three hundred four hundred square meter. Wonderful, sir. We wish you all the best, thank and you, thank Rob. you for giving us time. Thank you, Rob. thank you, sir. Nice what a great platform, what a great show, what a great response. India Mobile Congress is a great super hit. This edition of India Mobile Congress has attracted a vast number of participants. And I can truly say that India Mobile Congress is a mega blockbuster. Thank you. Thank you.